Hey, do you remember mini DV tapes? Hi, I'm Landon, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to copy your old mini DV tapes onto a Thunderbolt 3 device. Let's go. Mini DV. Hey, if you're kind of old like me, I'm not that old, but maybe you had one of these growing up. This is a, uh, a Sony mini DV camcorder. And maybe you've got like a shelf full of mini DV tapes or a box full and you never went through the time to actually convert them over. And now you think you're stuck with those tapes. I found out a way to get them off your camera onto your new Thunderbolt 3 device. So I'm talking about like a Mac. Some Windows PC have the USB-C type that also supports Thunderbolt. It may work with that. In particular, in this one, I'm gonna get it off this old Sony camera onto my new Mac Mini 2018. Nearly all digital video camcorders have something called a firewire. Sony called theirs the iLink. So you've got your old firewire connection. So a lot of old PCs or old Macs had the, the firewire, which would be a direct connection. These days, firewire is kind of a thing of the past. Well, it is a thing of the past, absolutely. What you need to do is get a bunch of dongles. It's kind of ridiculous, but let's, let's take a look at each one. Here's exactly what you need. So you need a, a firewire cable. You need a working camcorder. I picked up that used Sony camcorder on eBay for 80 bucks. The next connector you need, it's a Firewire 400 to 800 adapter. I'll put links to all these dongles in uh, the description below. I bought them all on Amazon. Unfortunately, the, the Apple connectors are not cheap. The, uh, the 400 to 800 isn't too bad. So that connects, uh, basically, you're getting your 400 to 800 connector. The next step is a Firewire to uh, Thunderbolt 2 connector. I can't remember the exact price. They run about 50 bucks, They're not cheap. So you've got your Firewire to, to Thunderbolt 2. Then you need a Thunderbolt 2 to uh, Thunderbolt 3 connector. If you're just going to Thunderbolt 2, then you're good. But if you need the three, so here we go. One, two, three, four. It's kind of silly looking, but it works. So let's plug it in and check it out. So I am using a Mac mini 2018. I'm importing into Final Cut Pro. Basically what I've done here is made a project Oh, sorry. New event. This is called tape three. And first of all, we're gonna take the tape. If you guys remember these cameras, this is satisfying. Opening up these little mechanisms. Remember that sound? Okay, I'm gonna pop in the tape. The key here is to push from the side, not from the top. Yellow warning, I'm sure many people didn't follow and broke these things. Okay, so the tape is in there. Gonna open up the side panel, plug in the firewire connector, and then basically you set your camera to VCR mode, which will turn it on. When I click import, Sony DV VCR is now a tape. We're gonna rewind the tape. The drawback to doing this is you're importing everything in real time. So if you have a 60 minute tape, it's gonna take you 60 minutes. And they're about 14 gigs, so you gotta have a lot of space. Once this tape rewinds all the way, I'm gonna show you the import process. And just, we're gonna sit here and watch the full 60 minute import. Just kidding. Basically that's it though. You see how the dongle's connected? It's that simple. The worst part is finding a camera that still works and paying the price for those Apple dongles. All right, the tape is fully rewound. Let's check it out. Press play on tape. See that we're controlling it here. There we go. And it looks like we've got an old video of my dog here. So if I wanted to now, I could do an import and it's a real time import, so you gotta let it go. So it will take some time, but as you can see, smooth sailing from here. That's how simple it is. Oh, it's not simple. I guess four dongles, if three dongles and an, a firewire cable. So if that's simple to you, then this was a simple idea. All right, hopefully that was useful. I'm Landon, this is Lando 27 Tech. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a like below and uh, give me your feedback. Give me some comments below as well. Let me know if this worked for you.